Hey Leo, I hope that you're all doing great. I missed you guys. I'm so happy that you're back here with me. So of course, this is your love reading for April. Let's take a look and see what is coming your way in love. What are your messages from spirit? And I just want to say thank you guys. I send you all much love and light. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on the video. My name is Lynn. This is Passion of Heart Tarot. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video don't forget to comment and share you guys okay let's jump right in leo and see what is coming in for your love life in april okay before i begin just want to take a moment to bless your reading and invite the white light of the holy spirit I see Sagittarius' energy coming through, and I also see a lot of passion. I see a lot of happiness coming in for Leo. I feel like someone's going to reach out to you, Leo. That's what I can see. There's someone that misses you a lot, but I feel like this person fears comp like the competition when it comes to you. Uh, fear is like a strong word. Maybe it's a hesitancy, but I just see where there's um, a big shift that is coming in for your love life. There's a lot of anxiety that someone feels. Maybe it's about taking this chance. Maybe it's about you taking a chance. Maybe it's about them taking a chance. Because I say that because it's um, a hesitancy to take a step forward to like, Maybe make the, the first move. But you know, the funny thing about that person's energy is they really put themselves in that position. See, this person overthinks a lot. They're getting in their own head. And really nothing is standing in their way aside from their own thoughts and worries. So I wonder, is that your energy? Is that their energy? If it's not yours, it's, it, it's theirs. But I can see success is like... There's no getting around the kind of success that you'll have soon in your love life. And where this Ace of Wands is the overall energy, there's there's a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of chemistry coming your way, Leo. Um, something passionate, something... I, I feel like there's almost this energy of like not giving into it right away though. Although it's super tempting and it's something that's really hard to resist. And what I mean by that is like the, the sex, that part of it. So I feel like, um, the, the energy might start out as like, fi you know, it's like fireworks. It's like that kind of thing. But for some reason, one of you is like, I, I want to make sure that this is more. I want to know that this is more. I feel like you have something coming your way that might progress very quickly because of all the feelings that are here. And once someone just like gets out of their own head and breaks free from what's binding them, there's going to be a lot of success. So I see messages coming to you. And for some of you, it's just someone who they miss you right now. So some of you already know this person. Others of you, um, it could be the energy of someone's, someone that's new. But I can't ignore like that overall, like missing and, and wanting to belong. And maybe that's even your energy to a certain extent, Leo. You know, wanting to be in a relationship, thinking that it would be nice. But then again, at the same time, kind of getting in your own head, getting in your own way. But there's just something in the air. I'm telling you, something is going to happen for Leo. Because I say that because that this lets me know the Ace of Wands is like it's almost in God's hands, the universe's hands, however you want to look at it. But there is something that's about to start. And I see you guys falling in love with someone. Even if you're in this place now, Leah, where you're like, no, no, not me, not ready, or whatever it, the hesitancies that you have, um, 
I see you falling in love. The Ten of Cups. So the energy is like very euphoric coming in for April. Because this is like fairy tale. Fairy tale. Being swept off of your feet. And that's a mutual energy between the two of you. I see you guys celebrating, having a lot of fun. You might even meet some of their family members. That That's what I'm saying. I feel like it might happen fast, especially if you don't know this person. And for others of you that do, I, I just see your inner circles coming back together. So something is in the works for you, Leo. That is what I can see. I feel like you're going to have someone that re definitely reaches out uh, within, like, if not the next week, the next couple of weeks. Because I feel like, um, I feel like the... I feel like the two of you are kind of similar because I see how much this person is in their own head about things. They're getting in their own way. So if you're waiting to hear from someone and you're wondering like, well, why haven't they approached me? Why haven't they come forward yet? Made the kind of move that I want them to make. It's because they're in their own head so much. Maybe this person literally like has anxiety that they deal with. And for others of you, it's just the way that um they're very hard on themselves. Not that they're insecure. That's, I don't feel like this person is insecure. I just feel like they feel a lot is at stake and they don't want to mess up. So then they start to think, well, if I do it this way and if it, if it doesn't work out, then maybe I shouldn't do it this way. Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. Because it's like all of this energy binds them and that's what's blocking them from coming forward now. But I know that there's a huge shift. Something is going to change where they become free. And I just see success in your connections overall success. But the thing about even though I'm telling you about like the sex and I'm telling you about the chemistry and the emotions, what you need to know is that this is not something that's just going to be an in and out of your life kind of thing. Um, when it comes in, it will stay. So even though there's all of this chemistry, I don't see something here that's fleeting I don't see something here that shallow. I see something that has like just a lot of, a lot of emotion to it. And it could even take some of you by surprise the way that it just feels like so much so fast. Ten of Cups is like the energy of really being wrapped up in each other, like you're in your own little world. You can't keep your hands off of each other. And you even feel silly. There's a lot of laughter. There's a lot of fun. It's like, you know, feeling like kids again. There's a lot of happiness that you have coming in for you, Leo. If you're in this place right now, I really hope that you will let yourself believe it, that you'll take the blindfold off. And, and maybe even some of you Leos will, this reading could even help you take the blindfold off and see like, you know what, I've been like worried about a lot of things. Maybe there's things that you've gone through in the past that makes you feel that way. But ready or not, Leo, because it's it's coming to you. That's the thing. So it's like you have to get ready for it because it's it's gonna be here. And I know that um you will be, you will be ready for it. I just um so for there's a lot of energy of the past coming back around. Strong Sagittarius energy is here. I don't know if I mentioned that. So you guys could be dealing with a uh, Sagittarius. You could have that energy moon or rising. Some of you could even be cross watchers here. I I feel like um it doesn't well it doesn't really matter, but I see like two two things here. For some of you, this person just feels like um like so much is at stake and they don't want to mess it up. So they really care about like their reputation with you, how they come across to you. Um and they just like get a sense of um getting your like time and attention, they feel like there's obstacles to it. 
And I feel like um, they, of course, they think that there's got to be someone else in the picture. You can't be alone. There has to be other people that are interested in you. So that's like where the competition comes in. And I feel like that's something that um, makes this person feel nervous because there's a nervous energy. So that goes both ways because whether or not this per, because I, I feel like, um, I feel like someone like this person either has their eye on you and for others of you, it's like you definitely already know them. So that goes in a lot of different directions. It could be someone who, um, just is around you. And what I mean by that is like, it could be someone who, who's, who's close to you, but yet has a lot of hesitancy about making a move. So that could be someone who works like with you, someone who's like maybe in your building or in your neighborhood. Cause I just pick up on this energy of this person is around you already. So that's why I know that some of you already know who this is. And for others of you, that's like, who is that? I don't know. Um, I feel like they know you, but you might not know them. That's the thing about it. There's an embrace that's getting ready to happen. Okay, Leo, I, I want to look further into how this person feels deeper into their emotions and like more about what you need to know the most about them because something something successful is on its way to leo in love okay you guys so i'm i'm gonna extend this reading but i'm gonna do it over on my patreon that's a new thing that i'm trying you guys um everything will be linked in the description below to join my patreon and see uh, what else spirit has for you guys? I want to look into their feelings, what you need to know the most about them, like further into what's coming your way. Okay, Leo, just know that I send you all so much love and light. I truly do thank you for being here with me, Leo. Um, that is what I have for you. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. And for those of you that are going to join me on Patreon, I will see you over there. Love you, Leo, and I'll talk to you soon.